Ladies and gentlemen, inside of this video, we're gonna look at tickets for WrestleMania 40. Ticket value video is brought to you guys by SeatGeek. So if you guys are looking for tickets for any event in the entire world, get them to SeatGeek. Just use my last name, code Hodge, at checkout, and you'll actually get $20 off your tickets. Now, this is for first-time orders only, so if you seek before, just make a new account. You can still use the code. You don't get $20 off for any ticket for any event in the entire world. If you get your tickets through SeatGeek, using just my last name, code Hodge, at checkout. And yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, let's do it. So I, I I know I am late to this party. I know I'm late to the party of WrestleMania 40 tickets because these these tickets went on sale quite a long time ago. But very recently, you know, the Royal Rumble tickets went on sale. I did a a actual like ticket buying browsing video while we were uh the, the actual day the tickets were like released to the public. Uh, so a lot of people ask, hey, Brian, why don't you do one for WrestleMania as well? Well, I was like, oh, they went on sale like so long ago, and I missed the opportunity to do one one of these videos right when they went on sale. They're like, ah, oh, screw it, do it anyway. Um, so yeah, basically. We're screwing it and doing it anyway. So basically, uh, we're gonna be looking at WrestleMania 40 tickets uh, from the box office website. I wanna, I wanna say this, the box office website for this event is gonna be Ticketmaster. Uh, WrestleMania, I believe last year, uh, box office website was SeatGeek. This year it is not, but SeatGeek still has some good deals. So Code Hodge saves $20 on any good deals you may find on SeatGeek. But as far as box office face value ticket pricing, that is what Ticketmaster is, and that's what we're gonna be looking at because those are the prices WWE sets themselves. So we will see how much WWE is trying to charge for WrestleMania 40. This is a big event. This is literally 40. Uh, this is me in Philadelphia, King of Vlogs, Stuff right now. That's me. Uh, I will. I will try to be there to the best of my ability. Uh, if everything works out, I will. I will be there. But we will see about that. Uh, but ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and look at these tickets. I, I'm not buying right now. Of course, we're browsing. We're looking at pricing. Because guys, if you don't know, I've been to like six WrestleManias, so I can definitely give you advice if these are good prices or not. So enough chit chat, enough brand edge running his mouth. Ladies and gentlemen, let's look at these freaking tickets. Here we are now on Ticketmaster on the WrestleMania 40 page. So there's a bunch, okay, first off, first, first point I wanna make, I just noticed this. There's literally all elite wrestling advertisement right here. Like they're literally advertising on WrestleMania 40 page. It, it, it isn't that great, but this goes by location. This is actually in Orlando, Florida. I didn't even know they're doing a show in Orlando. I live in Orlando, hey. I actually didn't know about that, so thanks for the advertisement, AEW. Okay, so basically, uh, WrestleMania 40 uh, is going to be taking place in Philadelphia. They're doing it uh, in three different options to buy tickets. You can buy, of course, WrestleMania is a two-night spectacular every year now. Um, so basically, the, the, the combo is for both nights. Then you can buy individual tickets for each night. Uh, I believe the combo is almost like completely gone because that's what goes first. And of course, they haven't released all the tickets for the entire arena and a lot of them go to the the single night tickets they don't go for the combo so what you're seeing right here all of this could be resale tickets personally we're not going to be looking at resale tickets today because we just want to see face value how much WWE is charging and what's a good deal normally that's where you get your better price so this is all that's left in the stadium so let's go and zoom in is it to see what the face value now are these just face value tickets i believe i don't believe these are platinum um so basically here is the ring this is really really close most people cannot sit this close to wrestlemania because it's thousands of dollars but right here the closest one i see well this is actually camera size so this is gonna be your best seats ten thousand dollars for a two-day combo ticket um ten thousand dollars can you believe that uh, but it's WrestleMania, so I don't, I don't know what you expect. So this is in the first floor section. So this first floor section is always very, very expensive. Off to the side, it's probably gonna be the cheapest one, honestly. 3,000, yeah, it's probably the cheapest one that is left the combo. So these prices are not attainable for most. They're definitely not attainable for me. Uh, so yeah, let's get off of this page and look at like realistic options for WrestleMania. So uh, the, the combo seats are mostly gone. Uh, and I think most seats are going to the single nights. So you just gotta buy your tickets separately if you wanna go to both nights. Uh, so we're gonna also filter this. We're gonna take off that verified resell thing. Um, they have platinum and standard, but they're both set by WWE, but the platinum's turn into standard after a while. Uh, but first off, you gotta zoom in a little bit so that you see the dots where they have availability. So we're gonna go ahead and go to, let's just do standard right now, because I really don't wanna see platinum. Even though probably most of the arena is gonna be platinum, it looks like, because uh, they have not dropped them to standard ticket prices yet. But as for standard tickets, what they have left is the like, uh, like, like, okay, standard ticket price for that section is $5,000. Which is crazy, because this section has always been like two or 3000 Okay, so of course, inflation, greediness, everything going through. 
The first section of floor is now 3,500. It used to be, I think, 2,400 as of a few years ago. Like, I, I don't know if WrestleMania 38 was. 38 was so expensive. But to my memory, like, when I used to buy tickets like WrestleMania 33, 34, 35 were, were like those prices. Um, but yeah, it's just simply not that price anyway. So these are still platinums over here. We'll go ahead and turn that platinum thing back on so we can see the prices. Um, so these are platinum. These ticket prices may drop closer to the show if they do not sell because platinums usually turn into the standard tickets after a while. So back here, official platinum, $1,200. This is row eight of the second floor section. But we really need to get out of this thousands of dollars price range and actually move on to something more affordable. So let's say we get up here in the stands. Now these are also gonna be platinum seats. They see they went $1,000 dollars so it's the camera side of like lower 100s. Um, so yeah, this is like crazy, a thousand dollars for, okay, 900, okay, they're crazy, let's go all the way up here, still 900 dollars, they're crazy. I was really curious if they were gonna have any standard tickets available, um, for like anywhere else in the stadium besides floor, and I really don't see a single one, because it'll be like a brighter blue color we're looking for. Uh, there's literally, literally like nothing available that's a standard ticket price. Which is kind of concerning. So everything's platinum seats right now. Um, official platinum. Of course, night two has a more of a demand than night one. So this may be the most we're gonna see. Uh, but let's say, we, okay, we, we just avoided all the 100 level. We went all the way up to the very top of the arena. That's gonna be $368 a person. That is before your fees. So you're still gonna look at about $1,000 if you want two tickets all the way up in the very top of the arena. On the top of the stadium, if you will. Yeah, th these are just insane prices. Uh, now, um, I believe for WrestleMania 30, 38 when I went to, to Dallas, I paid a lot of money still because WrestleMania is like the most expensive wrestling ticket you can buy. And they're trying to make it like the Super Bowl pricing, I believe, where they're just trying to make it like it's like $20,000 for floor. And they're, they're slowly warming up to that idea. But uh, yeah, it's, it's crazy. All the way up here, you see all the way up here for 500 bucks. When like a normal pay-per-view, you could literally be on the floor for 500 bucks. It's just like insane. Uh, but I believe uh, my book was WrestleMania 38. When I went, I set, I believe I was like section 200 level. Cause I, 100 level was like 700 bucks. And I think 200 level was like 400 is what I ended up paying. Uh, but I, I, I guess this is on par cause this stadium's kind of laid out a little bit differently. This would be the 200 level. So 400 dollars is what we would be looking for and it uh, looks like some of them are kind of like 400 i believe i said like kind of back here when i did the, well that's 300 we're looking 400 level they have increased maybe by 100 bucks or something like that but these are platinum seats and i got standard tickets so yeah it looks like wrestlemania ticket prices may be as far as upper sections are concerned very similar floor is a bit more than it used to be uh we'll go on to night two now but Honestly, guys, if you want my advice, um, if you didn't get them when they went on sale, which obviously you didn't because, like, uh, or, you, well, I'm saying if you didn't, you don't have any tickets now, then you didn't get them when they went on sale because it's already too late. I, I would wait until closer to the show, I believe, to find some good deals, guys, because these ticket pl prices that are platins will drop. Uh, so this is for night two. It looks like they actually may have more options. Uh, we'll go ahead and put that to standard ticket, see if they have any standard tickets left up there. Uh, which they probably do not. And the problem with WrestleMania, it's such a big, widespread show that it's a big resale show. So a lot of companies that resell tickets for profit will actually buy all the standard tickets uh, as soon as they pop up. Even if they turn Platinums into standards, they'll buy them and resell them. So that's a thousand dollars for all the way up there. Okay, what do they have? They're actually pretty close here on the floor, I see. Is that second row for WrestleMania, I see? Second row camera side, 6000 uh, dollars a ticket, which would if both nights were the same, it would be like almost thirteen thousand dollars, probably fourteen thousand with fees. Uh, so that's crazy, three thousand. That's crazy. If you go second, uh, I know people who want to do floor about a thousand dollars is the most they're going to want to spend for that, and I believe second section of floor would get you that for around a thousand dollars. There is not a cheapest option. Um, as you can see on the list over here, the cheapest seat in the whole entire stadium is me section two hundred and forty for two hundred eighty-five dollars a ticket which is all the way over here, which is actually where the big Titan Tron usually is. So you gotta watch that, because sometimes, oh yeah, it says right there, limited view ticket. So you're literally behind the Titan Tron where you can't see anything. So that is not worth that. Uh, this next one is $300, the cheapest. Uh, that's over there. Uh, it's not a limited view ticket. So, I mean, you gotta, gotta see, but I would not want to be over there, like next to the Tron on the stage. None of the action's over there. You gotta wanna be in this area, which is kind of hard to kind of do with these huge stadiums they do nowadays. But honestly, guys, WrestleMania, it's extremely overpriced. It's extremely heavy. You gotta gotta luck up. It's mostly luck finding good deals for the show. Uh, for other shows, I have more tips on how to get good deals and stuff. WrestleMania, 
But the stadiums are so big is the thing. You can literally wait until really close to the show where they get scared that they're not going to sell all the tickets, so they start dropping them immensely, and you get a really good deal last minute. So honestly, guys, you kind of got to wait and see for this show. Uh, at this point, if you didn't get a luck up and get a good price on the on the pre-sell or the on-sell, uh, this stadium is absolutely massive, as you can see here. So yeah, honestly, my advice, I would wait for ticket prices to drop a little bit. Personally, that's what I'm doing for, for me because I'm planning to, to maybe go, and that's not, um, I'm not I'm not paying these prices. But if you look all the way up, Look how high up that is. That is $570 for one person, not including fees, not including taxes, not including delivery fees. Probably gonna be like $700 a person by the time you pay all that. It is absolutely insane. But ladies and gentlemen, those are, are, are some of my thoughts looking at WrestleMania ticket prices. They're insane. I've been to six WrestleManias. I would not pay these prices. I would wait for ticket prices to drop. That's my personal recommendation. And personally, that's what I'm gonna be doing myself. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this ticket buying video. Do you guys have tickets for WrestleMania already? Or are you guys looking to buy some tickets as well? Let me know in the comment section down below. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys for watching this ticket browsing video. Ladies and gentlemen, I am your one and only undisputed king of vlog style, Brandon Hodge, and I will see you guys in the next video.